Hello. This is going to be the first video lecture of our arithmetic reasoning course that deals with ratios. Now, if you were to look up what a ratio is, you will often hear the idea a ratio is just a fraction, right? And you might wonder, if a ratio is just a fraction, why do we have a new word for it? And for us, a ratio is going to be a fraction, but it's usually going to have uh, different quantities of some kind, and usually it's going to capture some relationship between these quantities, okay? Now, before we actually solve problems dealing with ratios, of which we will do a lot, um, these will come under the term uh, proportion problems, and we're going to see several different classes of proportion problems. Um, we're going to see proportion problems that are straight proportions. We're going to see percentage problems can be seen as proportion problems. We'll be able to see um, work task problems that will be able to be seen as proportion problems, conversion problems, and so on. But so in other words, what I want you to get out of this um, first part is that a ratio is a fraction usually between different quantities of some kind, usually to capture some relationship. And I'm going to start with my first example, which is just a, a very simple ratio problem. Uh, it's actually not a problem, but it's just to show how we can see a ratio in the real world, in a practical situation. This example captures David's tortilla recipe, which calls for two teaspoons of lard for every five teaspoons of flour. And so notice how there's a relationship here. For every two teaspoons of lard, there are five teaspoons of flour. Now, if you make this recipe, you're probably not going to have good tortillas. I'm sorry about that, but, you know, I just did this problem just for you guys. Uh, if you want a real tortilla recipe, you can look at them up online. Anyway, so notice, for every two teaspoons of lard, there's five teaspoons of flour. That relationship is, is a ratio. So we say, therefore, that the lard is in a ratio of two to five with flour, or that the lard is in a two to five ratio with the flour. Notice how here I'm using a colon to indicate that ratio. So I can say it verbally, 2 to 5. I can say it 2 colon 5, which is read 2 to 5. Or I can write it down as the fraction 2 over 5. And, of course, you know, I could also say that the flour is in relationship with lard in a 5 to 2 ratio. And then if I want to, I could scale it up. Like here I said teaspoons. But because I know that that relationship uh, exists, that 2 to 5 relationship, I know if I want to use cups, I could do 2 cups of lard for every 5 cups of flour and so on. Now, yeah, so that will be example number one. So now we're going to move on to example two of ratios. Kathleen drives 120 miles in three hours. Now I know what you're thinking. She is driving extremely slowly. But you have to, you have to respect her for being a law-abiding citizen. Just kidding. All joking aside though, even though it doesn't look like a ratio, it is a ratio. We can say that she drives 120 miles for every three hours. Aha, does this sound familiar? Yes, as you all might realize, this is nothing but speed. If you divide 120 by 3, you get 40, and this is the, what it means, miles per hour. So speed is one of the ratios we deal with every day. And we're going to write it down um, kind of like as an equation, as speed equals the distance you uh, travel divided by the time it took you to travel that distance. And we're going to see this kind of racial problem occurring um, often in practical real in practical situations. Um, yes. And of course, here you can see exactly how you can get a speed. You can divide how far someone drove in the time that they drove that speed, and it'll give you their speed. Yes. We can see here that Kathleen was driving at 40 miles an hour, which in most places is a legal speed limit. Yes. Um, and so that's example two. Speed. By the way, I would recommend that all of you, when you're taking notes on this, you write down this formula. And we will also see that we can modify this formula if we want to find the time it took for someone to drive given their distance and speed, if we want to find out um, how far they went, if we know their speed and their time, and so on and so forth. But we'll talk about that later. Yes.
So now I'm going to move on to example three. Now example three is a type of ratio that you don't often see in everyday life, but which comes out occasionally when you're dealing with arithmetic reasoning. Here in this example, Carla can perform a task in three hours. And the ratio that we're going to be looking at here is something called a task rate or a work rate. And we're going to define it as follows. The work rate, okay, the rate at which someone is completing these tasks is how much of a task they're doing, how much of a task and in how much time. Right? And so here we can see that Carla, um, let's call the work rate WR, okay? Just for short work rate. Carla's work rate will be one task because she can perform a task, so one task in how much time? three hours. And so we can see what that she can do. If we want to think back to our speed example, one third task per hour. So Carla has a work rate of one third task per hour. Yes. And if she if she could perform the task in two hours, it would have been one half task per hour and so on and so forth. We'll see several examples like this soon. So here I have another example. This is very, uh, very common. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will be familiar with this, and this is known as a scale factor. A scale factor allows a person to calculate a real-life length from a blueprint or map measurement, or vice versa. Um, and this often happens when you're, like, on um, on safari, and you're looking at your map here, and you see, like, the path from where you are to where you want to go. And, of course, you're wearing your hat so you can be nice and, like, protected from the sun. And uh, in this example, for example, a map is 1 to 100 in scale, so one inch on the map would be 100 inches in real life. And, of course, you could also have different scales. You could have that an inch on the map is a mile in real life, an inch is 2,000 feet, various other combinations. But in each of these cases, you can see that a ratio is being used to capture the relationship between a distance on the map or blueprint um, and, the, and the distance in real life. And now, in example five, we're going to talk about equivalent units. A certain quantity of one unit is a certain quantity of another unit. For example, one foot is 12 inches. Um, one yard is three feet. One hour is 60 minutes. A minute is 60 seconds. A gallon is 16 cups, and so on and so forth. We are going to we're going to learn how to convert between units. But yes, this is our other, this is another ratio type. Uh, this is another kind of ratio that we see in our daily lives, and. Um, so this will be our list of examples for ratios, and soon we're going to be solving problems involving ratios, and um, we're going to get to that soon. I hope you're excited. Yay! Yes.